Welcome everyone, I'm Matt Franklin from Portfolio Degree, and I just wanted to take a moment to thank you for watching our trailer. We've compiled this short video to walk you through our program and to help you understand what we do. So stay tuned, this could change how you invest. At Portfolio Degree, our goal is to help you have more freedom to invest. We don't have an interest in managing your money, and we're not here just to give you some tips. We're here to provide you with an overview of all of the basics of portfolio management. We want you to know what to look at and how, and that way you're better prepared for conversations with investment professionals, and you can better understand how to work together to achieve your long-term goals. In this program, we take complex statistical measures and apply some basic methods that we've found that make understanding how to construct your portfolio much easier. One of the best parts is that these methods can work for any size portfolio. So what's the big deal? What do we do? Well, we use what we call stock grades and portfolio grades. Stock grades represent different financial metrics, five to be exact, and you actually choose between different ones based on your investment strategy. What the grades allow you to do is compare stocks from a market-wide perspective, and that's where we bring in the grading scale. The best performing assets come in with an A, the averages come in at a B-, and the low performing ones come in with a grade like a D. The grading scale works similar to the education systems, and that's intentional because that's something that most people are familiar with. So ultimately, asset grades provide you with some perspective as you're considering different stocks and they help you make comparisons. The second letter grade is portfolio grade. The portfolio grade is a representation of how much risk that particular asset is contributing to the portfolio. And in this case, the higher the letter grade, the less risk that asset is contributing to the portfolio. And if it's the riskiest asset, we give it the letter R. And there's always one R in every portfolio. So just know it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just a designation for the riskiest asset in your portfolio. The portfolio grades are there so that as you're building your portfolios, you can look at different combinations and find the best ways to pair them together. Now that might seem pretty simple, but there's a lot that goes into that. So in an effort to help you understand these concepts, we have six training courses, portfolios 100 through 600. In portfolios 100, we cover the basics, like the method that we just showed you with the stock and the portfolio grades. We touch on asset analysis and how we arrived at the metrics that we're using in our program. We get into portfolio construction and some of the different things that you need to consider for that. Then we get into risk aversion, which is probably one of the most important lessons that we have throughout our program. And learning how to apply risk aversion is important. Knowing your risk aversion score helps you know how to balance your portfolio between your risky investments like stocks and what are generally considered risk-free investments like bonds and T-bills. In Portfolios 200, we cover the trading fundamentals. This is where we get into the actual math. We want you to understand how these things work so that you can understand it's not just a letter grade and that there are entire strategies that you can deploy behind these metrics. We also cover how indexes come into play, and we get more into detail behind portfolio construction and how the math works with portfolio grades. Then we'll go deeper into portfolio optimization, which is a term that you might be familiar with. We're going to go through that, you know, like what does that term even mean, you know, to optimize something. In Portfolios 300, we're going to cover the financial statements. We'll walk you through the basics of reading an income statement, a balance sheet, and how you can use them to create a statement of cash flows, and from there, cash flow valuations. And cash flow valuations are what Wall Street investors look at, and the reason why they might be asking certain questions during earnings calls We'll also cover the basics of stock ownership and what you need to understand with public offerings, dividends, buybacks, and splits. And then ultimately, we'll get into all of the SEC reporting requirements and where to go to find all of that information. Portfolios 400 is probably my favorite lesson because this is really where we begin to pull it all together. In Portfolios 400, we cover investment strategy, and we'll go through the five different metrics, how they performed in our testing, and what that means for crafting your strategy. We tested things like how many assets to include in your portfolio, how frequently you should optimize or rebalance it, and what kind of historical time period works best for each of the asset grades. 
We'll walk you through how each performed year by year, and I think you'll agree that the graphs make it obvious when and how to use the metrics. And from there, we'll get into popularity-based trading, which is just what I call day trading. I like that term because day trading is really just trading off of whatever's popular or going on that day. And we'll get more into it, but it's not really something that we encourage. And after this lesson, I think you'll understand why. Then we'll get into some additional considerations. These are things like liquidity and hedging with futures and options. We'll also touch on commodities and how you should approach those. Then we'll touch on retirement planning and understanding offerings like your 401k and your IRA. And we'll also discuss drawing social security and how much money you can make off your investments while taking a draw. We also discuss maintaining wealth, trusts, and trust funds, and a concept that we call expense funds, which is just kind of a fun way to think about how to manage a small fortune. In Portfolios 500, we're going to get into understanding the market. This is more of an economic-centered introduction, where we'll define different types of markets, get into industries and sectors, then touch on monetary policy and things like the Fed, the Treasury, as well as Forex trading, which is just foreign exchange or or currency trading. The point here is to get into basic economics so that you can better understand what to watch for in the market and how to apply which strategies and when. And that's because sometimes the returns that you're seeing are not necessarily due to the stocks that you have, but rather things that are going on in the market. Then we'll finish with Portfolio 600. This is really just more about getting started with buying and selling stocks. At this point, we'll have gone through the more heavy finance and economic and statistics stuff. So Portfolio 600 is more so about understanding some of the terms that you're going to see when placing trades and interacting with investment professionals. So for those of you that already invest, this lesson may cover things that you're already familiar with. But if you've never done this before, this lesson is where you can learn many of the more commonly used terms in order to get more comfortable and feel more prepared when you're ready to move forward. For example, there are things like bid price and ask price. We also cover topics like the difference between a growth stock and a dividend stock. And we'll also cover uh, the popular certifications that financial professionals have, and even briefly touch on choosing a brokerage firm and some of the resources that are available to help you with that. In terms of our technology, we have PortfolioDegree.com where we host all of our training videos. We have riskaversionquiz.com, where we can help you understand your level of risk aversion and how to weigh your portfolio between stocks and bonds. And then we have our website, Portfolio Examiner, which is designed to allow you to deploy and practice these methods in a risk-free environment. Now, in addition to our sites, we also post stock reports on PortfolioDegree.com. We post these spreadsheet-based reports weekly, and they're available for download, and they allow you to search through a large number of U.S.-traded stocks and customize the data based on the different strategies that we highlight. Now, if you want access to all of this, first off, I just want to say thank you for listening this far. I really appreciate you being here and taking the time to learn more about Portfolio Degree. And at this point, if you're interested in our program, we certainly hope you consider signing up or joining one of our live sessions. We feel that we've priced them fairly competitively for what you get in return, and we've tried to keep the price point to a minimum. Now, there are two paths that you can take. If you prefer a self-paced environment, you can choose to go the digital route, and for a small fee, you can unlock our training videos. Or if you prefer a live environment with a portfolio coach, you can pay a little more and opt for one of our virtual sessions. We also offer two ways that you can learn the content. If you only have a little time and you just want the highlights, we offer our Power Hour. Or if you'd like to develop a full understanding of everything that we think you need to know, then of course we'd recommend that you go through our full training course. Now in terms of riskaversionquiz.com, that's completely free. You can go there right now and you don't have to give us any of your information. You can take our quiz and see your test results with no commitment. Then with Portfolio Examiner, the top 500 most traded stocks will be available for all Portfolio Degree members, and the top 100 most traded stocks will be available for free. Now you will need to provide your email address to create an account there, but you'll be able to test and deploy all of the methods that we're discussing in our training courses. And with that site, if you want access to more stocks, 
we're going to provide you with the ability to unlock different packages for a small monthly subscription fee. And that allows us to expand our exchange offerings and to continue to expand our platform. We try to keep our platform fairly simple, but it does contain some powerful tools and information, and we hope you decide to join us as we continue to build and grow. A moment ago, I mentioned our Power Hour. Here is what we cover. As you can see, it still contains a lot of the same content that we cover in the full training course, but obviously it's a much more abbreviated version. If you decide to join one of our live seminars, it's about 60 to 70 minutes of content, with another 20 to 30 minutes remaining for questions. Now, if you're someone that prefers more personal coaching and you don't want to just watch another video, we do offer live virtual training days in our one-week course. Now, they're set up as virtual seminars where we host the different courses and take different points in time to build portfolios with you and talk about deploying different strategies. And this is an opportunity to get fully immersed in the content and to learn in a group setting and to ask questions directly to a portfolio degree coach. Now, these courses do cost a little more, but if you're looking for an in-depth interactive learning experience, this is the path for you. Until next time, I'm Matt Franklin. Thank you for being here and have a great day.